<laughs> that's it. That's it. Wow, so hold on, that's six. That is the 24 hour challenge completed. That is insane. Okay, guys, final count is. Okay, so it is about 20 minutes to midnight. Um, I am actually setting up for my 24 hour challenge in honor of Sam McPaul, uh, as you know, who passed away fighting the Victorian bushfires. And so, um, in an effort to raise money to support his family, uh, you know, I'm doing this 24 hour archery challenge, which is going to be pretty full on. Starting at midnight tonight on the 1st uh, of January, 2020 is I'm actually going to be starting a 24-hour archery marathon uh, to try and raise some money uh, to go towards supporting Megan, who not only has to face losing her husband, but also the prospect of raising their child alone without a father. So what I'm going to be doing is, like I said, starting at midnight tonight, doing a 24-hour archery marathon, trying to shoot as many arrows as possible. And I'm asking the community out there to support in any way they can, uh, principally through uh, pledging a donation per arrow shot. So the most arrows that I've ever shot in a training day is around 300 uh, and I'm actually aiming to try and double that and shoot at least 600 arrows in the next 24 hours. Um, this will be difficult, um, that is a lot of shooting and more so because I'm actually not in the best shooting shape at the moment coming off an off season. So just how this is going to work is very simple. So um, basically I haven't got permission to shoot at the archery club at night time. So the only place I can do that is at my own house. Uh, thankfully, I've got a little area which I can light up and I can do some shooting at close range. Uh, I've got my mate Pippa here for emotional support. Hey, Pippa. And um, then come sunrise, I'm going to mo relocate, move out to the archery range and basically spend the better part of the day uh, pumping out arrows at the archery club before coming back here and uh, bringing it home strong. So. Uh, my strategy for this event um, is to basically pace myself. Um, you know, 24 hours, it'd be uh, pretty silly to just try and uh, shoot continuously through that whole period. Um, and it'd likely result in an injury and I'd be able to, I'd be out of action within, you know, probably several hours. So to get as many hours as possible in a 24 hour period, I'm gonna take strategic breaks. Um, I'm gonna have, make sure I get plenty of food, make sure I do some sort of prehab before uh, my shoulders lock up or anything like that. And um, yeah, make sure I'm in top shape uh, pulling through the finish. And then seeing how we go, seeing how I feel towards the end, we might um, yeah, push a little bit harder towards the back end of the day. Um, you know, about 24 hours time, we'll see how I'm going. But um, yeah, wish me luck. Happy New Year guys. It is about one minute to midnight. About to kick off our 24 hour challenge. Okay, we've got about 30 seconds to go. You should hear the fireworks going off in the distance any second now. And that is my cue. Three, two, First eight down, We've got at least 592 to go. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so we're one hour in. It's now about 1 a.m. And um, I'm just about to tick over 100 hours. Still feeling pretty good. Um, form's feeling crisp. I'm trying to keep my timing nice and um, quick because I feel like you know if I'm shooting 600 or more arrows um, you know an extra if that uh, two second expansion turns into a three or four second expansion then that's going to add up so um, yeah feeling strong gonna keep going and then um, I'm gonna try and limit caffeine I am feeling a little bit tired um, just by virtue of being late but I'm gonna try and push through because 
Otherwise, I think the, uh, the caffeine is going to give me a bit of a crash. Okay, so it is just past 2 a.m. I've been going for about two hours. I'm on 184 hours, so what I'm going to do, um, form's been feeling pretty crisp, but at the moment my uh, expansion is starting to get a little bit soft, so I think I'm just getting a little bit fatigued. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the next two ends, take me up to a nice round number around uh, 200 hours um, in the next yeah, 15, 20 minutes, and then uh, have a little rest, have a bite to eat, um, cold shower, and then get up again before sunrise at around 4 a.m. Okay, that is 200 hours. It is 2.20 a.m., 1st of January, 2020. Gotta go have a uh, little rest, lie down for an hour or so, and then, um, yeah, stretch out a little bit, maybe have a cold shower, bite to eat, and then get up again for sunrise in about an hour and a half. Morning and happy new year, you guys. So it is a just past 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, I had a pretty good start last night. I've pumped out over 200 hours already. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just, I've got up this morning. Uh, I've actually spent a fair bit of time just going through uh, and stretching. So I think it's really important that um, if I'm gonna, I've got a big day ahead of me today. You know, going through to midnight tonight, still got a lot of hours to, to churn out. And I wanted to start the day in really good condition. I've just spent a fair bit of time going through, um, after last night's session, I was pretty sore through the neck, a little bit tight. I didn't have the best sleep. Um, and so, yeah, I just went through, doing some, doing some stretches, lengthening everything out, making sure that I'm moving properly for today because, um, yeah, once you start to lose that form, uh, then it's gonna be a downhill slide. So just about to kick off again out of the archery range. I was planning on getting out here a little bit earlier, to be honest, but um, when my alarm went off at, uh, just before 4 a.m., I only probably had about 30 or 40 minutes of sleep by the time I went to bed last night. So I decided to give myself an extra hour or so. Um, I think it was totally worth it. I'm feeling fresher, much better. Got a very familiar tightness through the top of my shoulder girdle which uh, all archers are familiar with after some heavy training and that just means it's some tightness in the subscap so I'm just making sure I do a really good warm up otherwise that will continue through the day uh, it is going to be a scorcher today as well so I've got plenty of cold water I've got uh, Sarah coming up to be a bit of a support crew for me in a, in a bit, which is nice. And uh, yeah, gonna get into it. See if we can churn out, make some money for Sam's family. Sometimes you just got to dip the tip guys, lube them up. You know, I just realized that I'm shooting, I don't know, upwards of 600 certainly, but uh, who knows, maybe pushing a thousand, maybe even more. And um, saving a bit of energy in pulling the arrows out may just be, you know, contribute to me being able to squeeze out a few extra arrows at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah. So Sarah has just come out and joined me. Thank you, Sarah, my support crew. Uh, I'm coming up on 300 arrows in a minute, which we should have well and truly polished off by an IIM, which is cool. Feeling pretty crisp, eh? And Sarah is just doing some searching because we just thought, well, we've seen some, several people do the 1,000 arrow challenge, 
but we don't actually know if anyone's done a 24 hour archery challenge, at least the Rico, uh, Olympic Rico boat before. So I'm just trying to see if someone has and uh, if they have how many arrows they've shot. So let's see what we can find. So, so Sarah's just discovered on Google, apparently there's some, uh, what, 1600s or something? Yeah. There was some... Uh, Someone that shot 8,000 8, arrows. In, in a day. In 24 hours. But it doesn't say what bow they were using. Doesn't say, well, if it's 1600, it's probably not an Olympic Rico bow. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's all right. Let's, uh, let's go for 8,000. Let's do it. Good. Okay, well, you go. You <laughs> I don't know come, if that's possible, um, but I'm with yeah. you in spirit, man. Okay, thanks, man. But um, yeah, let's see what we can do. But uh, as far as Olympic recurve goes, like I said, look, we're aware of that thousand hour challenge. I know some of the guys in the States do that, whatever year or something. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. some of the Koreans have pumped and out big volumes. And some of the Kiwis volumes. do it as well. Yeah. Um, I know some of the Koreans have pumped out big volumes, but that being said, have they done a 24 hour challenge? Probably not. No it's one's probably that been crazy, Jared. No one's that crazy. No one's that crazy. See, this is what happens when you come up with a a uh, fundraising idea at breakfast, launch it by lunch, and then start it at midnight. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so just crossed the 300 arrow mark, which means I'm halfway through my target arrows um, of 600, and it's 8.35 a.m., so well, well on track. And actually, I'm gonna smash this goal. Feeling really, really crisp. Shots are still feeling uh, nice and smooth and dynamic. Not really feeling too tight yet, but I'm very mindful of uh, being deliberate with taking breaks before I need them. Um, otherwise, it's going to be, you know, it's going to sneak up on me that fatigue. Um, I was feeling a little bit tight through the sub scat this morning, but since I've warmed up, that seems to have gone away. I'm very happy that I did like a really thorough warm up. And Sarah is doing um, a bit of research at the moment. What we find? There's there's a bloke. What's his name? Tom van Eckeren. Tom van Tom Germany. van Eckeren, German bloke. Yeah, did a 30 hour and 30 hours and 16 minute um, archery marathon, and he shot 2,300 and something arrows. 2,340 arrows so in that's, 30 hours and 16 minutes. That's a Guinness Guinness World Record, 2015. That's pretty impressive. So I, I remember him doing that. Like on, I think I follow him on Facebook or something. But yeah, that was pretty cool. We're just we're just messaging you now if you're watching. Um, hey Tom, good job, so. man. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try to break your record. Who knows? Uh, so that was 2,300 and something arrows in 30 hours. Sarah worked out that that worked out to be a 1,800 and something. 1,872. Yeah. We're trying to figure out what he actually shot in 24 hours. Hey, let's go for the record. Um, and then we'll try and smash it. To this end, we'll bring you up to 400 hours, and it's about what 10 past 10 in the morning. So we're going to smash the 600 hour mark. Okay, so I just hit, um, what's it, about 430 something hours, 432 hours. And uh, to be honest, that first feeling of fatigue or probably just uh, mental tiredness has just kicked in. So I'm um, just gonna, yeah, have a little rest, lie down for a bit, have a little snack, and um, yeah, just trying to get some energy back. Um, I'm gonna smash this 600 hour mark. It's only like not even 11 a.m. So I'm probably gonna get close to 600 hours by midday and then um, maybe just after midday and then uh, see how we go. Sarah's gone and picking up some supplies. Um, it is starting to warm up a little bit, so I've asked to get me some ice water and um, you know, just like some sort of cold drinks and things like that. Uh, to keep me going, have got a lunch, but uh, yeah, it's going good. It's you, Sam. You're my motivation, man. Hi there, everyone. It is now half time, it is exactly midday, 
sorry, my watch is 30 seconds slow. But um, yeah, we're halfway through the shoot. I'm currently sitting on just shy of 500 arrows, 480 arrows. I'll tick over the 500 mark in the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Um, but yeah, yeah, really, really pumped at the moment. I think you're going, man. <laughs> so I'm just shy of 600 hours now. It's about quarter past one. So I'll certainly, I'll probably crack 600 hours certainly by 2 p.m. Which should be cool. Yeah, I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to keep motoring on. And uh, yeah. That's the next milestone. So Jared, what led you to take on this challenge? Um, woke up yesterday morning and um, turned on the TV and the first thing I saw was just um, was the story about Sam who passed away. Um, I mean, instantly broke my heart, as with everyone who's sort of heard the story. And, um, you know, just sort of think about all the fireys and the emergency service workers down there are battling, you know, battling the bushfires 24-7 and, um, you know, we've all seen the footage of, you know, the, the fires have been caught in firestorms and everything like that, which is just horrific. Um, I can't do what they do, but I can shoot arrows. So I thought, um, look, I just want to do something. And I also felt like going into New Year's, I didn't really want to um, just spend the time getting, um, you know, getting drunk and working out with a hangover into 2020 into a new decade. So I wanted to actually do something a bit meaningful, and this is just the first thing that came to mind. So uh, I just thought, um, fuck it, I'll do it. And then I just, yeah, posted it on online, did it, set it up straight away. Um, obviously, it's pretty short notice, and so. Um, I appreciate everyone who's sort of put in an effort to, to contribute and to share and put the word out there and share it around. That's been really meaningful. Just wanted to check in for a second because this is my 600th arrow, which was of course my original target. Uh, now in the spirit of this challenge, I'm going to be moving the goalposts. And so, since I've smashed through 600 arrows uh, before 2 p.m., what I'm going to do is I'm going to move those goalposts. I'm shooting to midnight tonight, so uh, there's no reason I certainly can't bust through 1,000 at this rate. Still feeling strong. Six hundred. So one of the things I just want to talk about briefly, guys, especially to all the archers out there, is um, you know I'm finding this challenge really you know, really liberating or emotionally rewarding. Um, I don't know, I've never done anything like this before. Uh, it was quite spontaneous. You know, I thought of this idea um, at breakfast yesterday, launched it at lunchtime and started it at midnight. So, um, you know, it was very, mu very much a spontaneous thing. Um, I think archers as a whole are generally pretty financially uh, poor you know a lot of archers are students or whatever and if you take your archery seriously you're always competing for time and money to try and afford your equipment um, you know travel competitions expenses things like that and I just use this as an opportunity to encourage you guys to think outside the box a bit about causes that are bigger than you and th think about ways that you can contribute back to uh, you know either causes you care about or society in some way that is meaningful um, and I encourage you guys to think about that this has really inspired me I'm gonna probably be uh, trying to do this sort of thing more in the future because um, honestly I'm just getting such a kick out of this I mean I'm out here shooting arrows anyway um, I'm using it as a huge surge of motivation to actually push myself and challenge myself to shoot more arrows than I've ever shot in a day um, and 
you know, it's also got me um, fired up to, you know, it's very fulfilling to actually contribute contribute to something bigger than yourself. So um, thanks again. I like and every time I turn this camera on, I say thanks again to everyone for contributing. But honestly, I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Like, um, you know, it's very um, motivating. You know, checking the donation page online and um, when it says you know each hour you shoot is uh, you know about three dollars to your cause. You know, every time I want to put my boat down and have a rest, it's like hold on a second. Um, I can do one more. I can do just one more. And it, it's just, yeah, it keeps pushing me along. So thanks guys, you guys are the best. Um, I'm just out here pinging arrows around as I would be anyway. So um, it's really you guys that are making the difference. So thanks again. Okay, so I'm pretty cooked. Um, it's now like 5.30 in the afternoon. I, just the physical exhaustion of being awake uh, kind of hit me. And, um, or the mental exhaustion, exhaustion I could say. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm mixing up my words now. You can tell it's been a long day. Um, so yeah, I just took my yoga mat down to the end in the shade and just had a bit of a nap for like I don't know, it must have been an hour and a half, an hour and a half or something. I uh, just went and washed my face, and now I'm gonna, yeah, squeeze another couple of hours in, hopefully, before it gets dark here. And then when it does get dark, I'll go home and continue shooting at home until midnight. So, yeah. Um, bit of advice, if you are thinking about doing a 24-hour archery challenge, don't start it at midnight. <laughs> no regrets, you know, I was doing this from midnight to midnight. It is a special occasion is the 1st of January. It is for a worthy cause, so um, no regrets, but yeah, it's starting to take its toll. All right, I've just had a look at the donations. There's been a few more ticking in, which is amazing. It's given me that extra little bit of motivation to keep pushing through. So thank you once more, guys. Work in progress, good things go slow I'm no saint I fall and you pick me up again you Got your habits, got them too Just feel like maybe I could lose them with you Sinking in and I guess I kinda like that For the first time you really got my back Got your habits, got them too So now, this is gonna be good because whenever one of my students complains about the arrow volume I give them per week. I can hold it over them and I can show them what I've done in one day. And so, come on, guys, it's not even a day's worth of training. Is that cocky? No. That applies to you too, Sarah. So, we've lost the light. Uh, it's now about quarter past seven o'clock. Um, I am on 880 arrows. Uh, Sarah and Tyler have just come over to give me a hand putting away the target butt. They are lifesavers. Um, I'm gonna pack up my stuff, get out of here, go home. I'm still feeling good. Like, you know, I'm keeping this momentum going. Guys, you know, all the support that I'm getting is just, you know, firing me up. So thanks so much for that. Um, so I'm gonna go home, set up my butt at home churn it out I'm gonna push I think I'm gonna try and push as hard as I can into the finish line here I think I'm at a stage now where it's less I'm less concerned about fatigue and more concerned about I'm um, just trying to get the numbers up in the time that I have left so what did I say it's seven o'clock oh, just past seven so you know let's say I got by the time I get home and get set up I've got about four hours of shooting left um, you know if I if I keep up my current tempo, then that could be another uh, 250, 300 arrows. So yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd bring me up to around 1100 or so. Oh, let's not do the maths. Let's just smash it, see what we get to. Cool.
That's it. Check. Go. Just smashed a thousand arrows. I'm currently sitting at 1,032 arrows. And um, yeah, got to admit, shots are feeling good. Not too bad, but starting to get a little bit mentally tired. It's the home run stretch now, you know, going uh, less than two hours to go. So I'm really determined just to push straight through. I don't want to take a break unless I kind of have to. Maybe a drink break or something. But um, yeah, I really want to squeeze out every single arrow possible because, you know, you guys have done the amazing thing of putting in all the support and I want to, uh, yeah, honor that and honor Sam. So uh, let's see what I can do. The last 10 minutes now of the uh, 24 hour challenge. It's been a pretty full on day. That is 1,160 arrows. <sighs> That's it. That's it. Wow, so hold on, that's six. All right, guys, that is the 24 hour challenge completed. That is insane. Okay, guys, final count is 1,174 arrows shot in 24 hours. It's worth just probably taking a minute or a second just to talk about what this means i mean thank you so much for everyone's support it's been amazing you know sorry i'm lost for words like it's been a long day and um yeah just just so, sort of super stoked with the support that i've had from you know the community and everyone out there who's you know reached out so thank you very much um i've learned a lot doing this challenge about myself about my own shooting um and really what this is all about is is trying to you know contribute to um you know Sam and his family um, you know they're going through probably the most difficult time uh, conceivable so um, you know this all you know it's a small measure of compensation in the scheme of things but but um, hopefully you know it's uh, it goes to show support and if nothing else you know I really wanted to show that people actually do care so you know you guys out there who have made pledges and have put money towards the cause um, that goes such a long way in terms of actually just showing that you know people people have a heart people care and people are willing to take action and you know uh, contribute to to a worthy cause and to people in need so you know for that honestly yeah I'm just absolutely stoked to be part of this so um, anyway guys that's it for me I need a cold shower and um, I'm gonna go collapse somewhere but um, yeah like from the bottom of my heart thank you to everyone out there and um, yeah, let's do this again soon. How's your New Year's going?